Last time on 1 vs 100, we saw just how tough this game can be as David missed out on a golden chance to take home over £14,000. Two other contestants also fell victim to the 100 in double quick time. Will this be the week when someone reigns victorious? We're about to find out. Welcome to 1 vs 100. It's Saturday night. Join us in the National Lottery 1 vs 100 arena as we play the most competitive show on TV with your host, Ben Shepherd. Good evening and welcome to 1 vs 100, the show where one contestant takes on 100 opponents. Keep answering questions correctly and they could win some serious cash, but it's not that easy. Get one question wrong and they're out. They'll win no money whatsoever and someone else from the 100 will take their place. So, everyone here wants to play, but who's going to be the first one to take on the 100 tonight? Let's find out. You are the one. Please enter the arena. The one to challenge the 100 is Barry Chima. Barry's an IT manager from the West Midlands who enjoys films, music and raising money for charity. He'd love to write a novel or a film screenplay one day. A big win would help fulfil that dream. But the trouble is, Barry, the 100 don't want to follow your script. Barry, how are you doing? Thank you. Good to see you this evening. Good how are you here. feeling? I was nervous, but now I'm calm. You're calm now, you're nice here? Nice and calm. Facing the 100? Yep. They're not that intimidating, are they? I don't think so. We'll find out. You are the one. They are the 100. Here's how it works. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, Barry. Both you and the 100 are going to have to answer. Every time you answer a question right, each member of the 100 who got it wrong is eliminated. You get £1,000 per person. Your aim is to keep going until every single one of them is out. If you do that, you walk away with all the money that you've made plus an extra £50,000 for beating the 100. But... Get just one question wrong, Barry, and you're going to go home with absolutely yep. nothing. The only thing that's going to help you, apart from your steel, nerve and hopefully determination, is you can dodge up to three questions if you don't know the answer. OK. OK. Now, viewers, with digital, satellite or free view, you can play along by pressing your red buttons right now. Good luck to you. Barry, are you ready to play? I am, yes. 100, are you ready to play? Yes! OK, let's play. One versus 100. <laughs> So, Barry, we start with the choice of two categories for your first question, so let's have a look at them, please. Books and authors or history? It's, um, it'll have to be books and authors, not for the best. Books and authors? Yeah. OK, we'd like books and authors, please. <laughs> Best-selling US author John Grisham is famous for novels set in which field? A. Espionage. B. Law. Or C. Medicine. Members of the 100, you have six seconds, starting now. What's your job, Barry? Um, an IT problem manager. Not espionage, law or medicine, though? It's not quite, no, but fortunately I have read some John Grisham, so... So you're aware of John Grisham? Quite confident about this one, yeah. Which of those do you think it is? Law. Are you sure? Yes. OK. If this answer's wrong, Barry, you're going home with nothing. Okay. Is it B, law? Yes. Great start. <laughs> Lovely. Please reveal how many of the 100 got that answer wrong. There's a lot of red there. 27 got it wrong. Your total stands at £27,000. It's good. you versus 73. <laughs> You've now got some money in the bank. There's £27,000 there, which means you could boost your winnings by playing your double. Okay. You can also guarantee your survival by using a dodge. However, it's going to cost you. The price of survival will be that I slash your prize fund in half. Having said that, and most importantly, you will stay in the game. Sure. OK, let's have a look at your next two categories. 
television or travel? Um, don't mind either, to be honest, but I think I'd a choice to go for television. OK, we'd like the television question, please. <laughs> Which comedian stars as Caroline Alice in the period TV drama Lark Rise to Candleford? A. Dawn French. B. Caroline Quentin. Or C. Victoria Wood. Remaining members of the 100. We have six seconds and counting. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't got an absolute clue. No idea whatsoever? No, I haven't even heard of the programme. You've got three one. dodges. I'm going to have to use the dodge. You're going to use your dodge? Yes, I've got no idea whatsoever, so I'm going to have to use it. OK, we'd like to employ his first dodge, please, which means we halve your prize fund. That's now down to £13,500. If you were going to guess, which of those would you go for, Barry? If I had to guess, see Victoria Wood. Down to three. See Victoria Wood? Yeah. Is the answer C, Victoria Wood? It was Dawn French. Okay. Well played, your dodge worked out. Fantastic. <laughs> Please reveal how many got the answer wrong. It's looking pretty good. There's a lot of red there. 26 got it wrong. Your total, Barry, after the dodge is £13,500. It's now you versus 47. <laughs> Let's get your next two categories. <laughs> Celebrities or films? Um, I am quite a film buff, so I'll definitely go for films. OK, let's have films, please. <laughs> Who played Hugh Grant's love interest in the film comedy Music and Lyrics? A. Drew Barrymore. B. Sandra Bullock. Or C. Kate Hudson. Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. Um, well, I think I do know the answer to this. No, it's not Sandra Bullock. Not she Sandra did. Bullock. Different film with him. I don't think he's done a film with Kate Hudson. So I'm very confident it's Drew Barrymore here. Pretty sure it's Drew Barrymore. Yep. OK. Barry thinks it's A, Drew Barrymore. Was it A, Drew Barrymore? Yeah. Well done. Yeah. See it, don't need to see it. No, I didn't see it. Yeah. Please reveal how many of the remaining members of the 100 got that answer wrong. Too bad. 13 got it wrong, Barry. That's £13,000. Your new total stands at £26,500. It's now you versus 34. <laughs> you've still got two dodges. Yep. And you've got your double, remember. Okay. Let's have a look at Barry's next two categories, please. <laughs> Food and drink. Or pop music? Looking at people that are left, I think I'd gonna go for pop music. You don't think they'll know much about pop music up there? I'm hoping not, no. <laughs> OK, we'll take pop music, please. <laughs> Which 80s pop group originally had three members with the surname Taylor? A, Duran Duran. B, Human League. Or C, Spandau Ballet. Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. <laughs> Any of those jumping out at you? Duran Duran, Human League, Spandau Ballet? I'm sure Duran Duran had at least one tailor. But I'm not sure if they had three. I'm going to have to dodge this one because I can't see any sooner. If I had an inkling of go from Duran Duran, I'm not even 50% certain, unfortunately, so I don't want to take the risk. OK. Barry would like to use his second dodge, please. That means we're going to have to halve your prize fund. That's down okay. to £13,250. Which one would you have gone for? If I had to go for one, it would be Duran Duran. OK, let's light up Duran Duran. Please reveal if A, Duran Duran, is the right answer. It was. 
dodge. Yeah. You knew the answer. Wasn't certain. You're through, but how many of the remaining members got that wrong? Eight got it wrong, Barry. Your total after the dodge stands at 13,250. It's now you versus 26. <laughs> One dodge left. Let's have a look at your next two categories. Actors and actresses or literature? It's for actors and actresses. Actors and actresses? Yeah. You love your films? Love my films. Let's hope it's a film question. Yep. Actors and actresses, please. Which actor played the title role in the hit film Charlie Wilson's War? Was it A, Russell Crowe, B, Tom Cruise, or C, Tom Hanks? Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. I'm confident about this one as well. I haven't seen the film again. I haven't seen it. But I've seen trailers of it, so I've seen who's in it. You've seen the trailers, you've seen the publicity. So, Who do you think it is? So it's C, Tom Hanks. OK. Barry thinks it's C, Tom Hanks. Is the answer C, Tom Hanks? Yes. <laughs> Please reveal how many members of the 100, got that question wrong. <laughs> Only five. Five got it wrong. It's £5,000. Yep. Your prize fund is up to £18,250, Barry. More importantly, it's you versus 21. <laughs> right. Let's have a look at your next two categories, please. <laughs> Natural World or Bonus Dodge, you've now knocked out over 75 of your opponents, sure. which means you get a chance to earn that extra dodge. Get the question wrong, Barry, and you're going to be out. And one of the remaining members of the 100 will take your place and go home with nothing. OK. Which one do you want to go for? It has to be the Bonus Dodge. OK, we'd like the Bonus Dodge question. Have a listen to this, Barry. Good morning, Let's have a look at the question. Which musical features that song? A, Dreamgirls, B, Hairspray, or C, High School Musical? Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds to answer, starting now. Any of those jumping out at you? So that song sounds to me late 70s, early 80s-ish. Leaning towards Hairspray. No, Dreamgirls have set before that. So um, I think it's not C. I think it's High School Musical. Um, so I'm thinking it's between A or B. If you get it wrong, you're going. It's part of me that thinks Hairspray, but I'm actually going to go for Dreamgirls. Yeah, let's stay. Let's go for Dreamgirls. OK. Barry thinks the musical that features that song is A, Dreamgirls. If this question is wrong, Barry, you've lost £13,250. You're going home with nothing. Is the answer A, Dreamgirls? It was Hairspray, Barry. It was Good Morning Baltimore from Hairspray. That was the song. You had it right. I had it first. 80s music. I'm so sorry that wasn't the right answer. Oh, well, never mind. Barry, it's been lovely to meet you. Thank you. Well played. I'm sorry you've got to go home with nothing. Barry, everybody. <laughs> so unlucky for Barry, he goes home with absolutely nothing. We need to see how many people were knocked out on that last question from the 100. <laughs> Three got it wrong. From the remaining 18, let's find out who will be the new one to take on the 100. You are the one. Please enter.
at the arena. The next one to take on the 100 is Julia Hobbs. Julia's from Ilford in Essex and loves all things 1980s. She's just been made redundant, so a big cash win would be very handy. She's a huge fan of live comedy and has ambitions to be a comedy writer. So can Julia win big and go home smiling, or will the 100 have the last laugh? Julia, welcome. Lovely to meet you. Thank you, on you. Here you are. Yes. On the spot, how are you feeling? Oh, all right. I was so shocked that that happened. I just couldn't believe it. So, so have you come with anybody this evening? Uh, my friends Rob and Julia are in the audience down there tonight. Hey, Rob. Hi, Julia. Hi, yeah. Uh, so, Julia, is, is she any good at general knowledge and oh, quizzes? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's trivia queen. Yeah. So, we're expecting her to take some money home tonight. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I've got a bottle of champagne already brought with me. So. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Julia, you are the one. These are your 100 opponents. You've seen how it already works. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to play? Yes. 100. Are you ready? OK, let's play one versus 100. <laughs> let's have a look, please, at the first two categories. Animal world or leisure? I think I'll go for animal world, please. OK, let's have an animal world question, please. Pembroke and Cardigan are varieties of which breed of dog? A. Corgi, B. Spaniel, C. Terrier. Members of the 100, you have six seconds to register your answers, starting now. Are you into your dogs? Not really, I'm more of a cat girl. Ooh. But I've never heard of a Pembroke or Cardigan Spaniel. And Pembroke and Cardigan Terriers don't sound right either. And I know Corgis are Welsh. So I'm going to go for Corgi, please. Julia thinks it is A, Corgi. If that's wrong, you're going to be going home. <laughs> is it A, Corgi? Very well, fantastic. Please reveal how many of the 100 got that question wrong. I want to see the reds. Lots and lots and lots. <gasps> 39 got it wrong. That's a fantastic start. <laughs> £39,000 in your prize fund. Not bad. Julia, Not bad it's now that. you versus 61. Quite pleased with that. <laughs> Great stuff. OK, let's have a look at your next two categories. <gasps> Myths oh. and legends or theatre? I think I'll go for theatre, please. We'd like theatre, please. <laughs> Harry Potter star Daniel Radcliffe made his West End stage debut in which play? A, educating Mr Sloan, B, Equus, or C, The Graduate? Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. So you've got that question. As you've got some money in the bank now, you know you can employ your double and also you can use your dodge if you don't know the answer. Well, I'm quite confident of the answer of this one. Um, and I'm going to go for B, cos I remember all the fuss about him getting his kit off and everything. So. It's funny how you remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Julia thinks it is B, Equus. So far, Julia has beaten 39 of her opponents, and she has £39,000 in the bank. However, if she eliminates the remaining 61, she could be taking home in excess of £100,000. Can she do it? We're going to find out after we go live to the National Lottery HQ for the first of tonight's lottery draws, which are Thunderball and Dream Number. I'm going to leave you in the hands of the gorgeous Jenny Faulkner.
live, live and direct from National Lottery HQ on this bank holiday weekend, here is the fabulous Jenny Falconer. Thank you very much, Ali. No, you're not so bad yourself. <laughs> anyway, good evening and welcome to tonight's National Lottery Draws. Hey, Jenny, you missed an exciting show on Wednesday. Not only did we have Kelly Rowland here, but we also had a lotto double rollover worth over £12 million. Pounds. I know, I was watching from home. I was on the edge of my seat and you'll never <laughs> guess what happened. Go on, you fell off. How do you know? <laughs> anyway, no, 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 unbelievably, Wednesday's lotto jackpot still has not been claimed. Wow. So someone out there has that winning ticket. So we're urging you to make sure you know where your tickets are. Check them, double check them, triple check them, quadruple check them, because £12.4 million pounds really is money that could, well, literally change your life overnight. Just think of the interest. So on that news, Jenny, shall we get to it and create some more winners tonight? Absolutely. Stop what you're doing, grab your tickets. It's time to play the first of tonight's straws, Thunderbolt. Now, Drawmaster Martin's here to make sure everything goes to plan tonight. Got any good plans for Bank Holiday Monday? Well, probably gardening between showers, I guess. <laughs> OK, oh, interesting. Alan, over to you. Yep, Martin, release the balls, please. 34 balls in this first machine. In a moment, we'll pick five of them. This weekend, we're using Excalibur and set of balls number three, chosen for us at random earlier today by James Veal, who's from Bath. And the latest news from the draw team is that over 118,000 tickets won a Thunderbolt prize midweek. Seven lucky tickets match the first five numbers to win £5,000 each. OK, Jenny, let's do it. OK, let's do it. Draw Master Morrison, are we clear to proceed? Yes, we are, Jenny. Fantastic. Good luck to all of you this Saturday night. Start that draw. Our Draw Master is Martin McClure, our independent adjudicator, Sean Fleet Mill. There's the first one, number 11. So we're off to a good start. The next one, this Saturday night, which will it be? Well, there's the answer, look. Number 33. And the third to be drawn. Up she comes. Check that out as number two. Two more needed of this, our first machine. Here is the first of them. That's number seven. And then to complete the set. How about that one there, which is in fact number 30? OK then, Martin, over you go to the second machine now, if you would. Start that one up, please, and release the 14 red thunderbolts. Now, remember, you don't have to match with this next red ball, but if you do, well, Jenny will explain. It could be good news, you see. Remember, if you've matched all the numbers drawn so far, you do still need to match with this next one as well to be in with a chance of winning that top prize of £250,000. It's the all-important thunderbolt, and even if you've only got one number so far, matching with this next ball will make you a winner. So here we go. Good luck. Start the draw. Yeah, and good luck. From me too. Here we go. Eyes down, look in. There, look. Number eight. Excellent. So here are tonight's Thunderbolt numbers again, only this time in ascending order. Two, seven, eleven, thirty, and thirty-three. The Thunderbolt number eight. Jenny. OK, let's get to it and play tonight's dream number. And don't forget that all the good cause money raised from Dream Number is helping to fund the London 2012 Olympic Games and Paralympic Games. Right then, draw Master Martin. Are we clear to proceed? Yes, we are. Fantastic. Here's hoping tonight's numbers make your bank holiday weekend go with a bang. Start the draw. Here we go then. Tonight we're using Aventurine and Cedibles number five, again chosen by James. The news from Wednesday's Dream Number draw is that there were over 45,000 winning tickets. Six of them matched with the first five numbers in sequence to win five grand apiece. So congratulations if you were a winner midweek. Week. Back to tonight now, and live on BBC One. Here is this weekend's dream number draw. Let's do it. The first one, please. Which will it be? It's a zero. So if you match with that number, you're definitely in the game tonight. Two pounds is yours. Next, up comes another green ball, this time a six. If you match with those first two numbers, your prize money now stands at ten pounds. Next tonight, worth the wait. A seven. Don't forget, in this game, you have a one in ten chance of winning a prize. That's a five, with seven tiers of prize money, ranging from two pounds to a cool half million. That is a nine. Remember, you need to match with these numbers in sequence, with no breaks in the chain. That's a three, and just one more number to come now. I wonder, which will it be? Well, the answer's there, a six. So tonight's National Lottery dream number is... Zero. Six. Seven. Five. Nine. Three. Six, Jenny. Thank you very much, Alan. We'll be back very soon with tonight's daily play results and the big lotto draw. But now let's head back to one versus hundred. Back to you, Ben.
for the lottery. We saw Julia here knock out 39 of her opponents. So far, she has £39,000 in the bank. It's a fantastic start. Can she keep it up? If she has the right answer to this question, she could be on course to win £150,000. But if she's wrong, she'll be going home with what she came with, which is nothing. Is B Equus the right answer? Please reveal who got that question wrong. Eleven. Eleven got it wrong. That's another £11,000, which means your new total is £50,000. Julia, it's now you versus 50. <laughs> Big breath. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, One versus so. 50. You're halfway. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at your next two categories. Commerce oh. and industry or dance? Ugh. Well, I think I'm going to go for dance. I can probably take a decent stab at that. OK, we'll have the dance question, please. Which form of dance is most closely associated with the name Joaquin Cortez? A, ballroom, B, flamenco or C, salsa? Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. Joaquin Cortez. I think the answer's B. Flamenco. Yeah, flamenco. And I think I'll play my double on it. You'd like to use your double yes, too? Please. OK, Julie would like to employ her double for this question, please. And she thinks the answer is B, flamenco. If it's not B, flamenco, you've thrown away £50,000. Don't, don't do that to me. <laughs> is the answer B, flamenco? Nice when it goes green, right? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Please reveal how many members of the 100 got that question wrong. Nine got it wrong. £9,000 will double that. That's £18,000. Your new total is £68,000. <sighs> it's now you versus 41. <laughs> Question for you down to 41. Let's have a look at the next two categories, please. History or people and places? I think I'll take people and places, please. Okay. We'll have people and places, please. Which of these was actually born in the place with which they share their name? A. Florence Nightingale. B. Paris Hilton. Or C, Tennessee Williams. Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. That is a stinker. Isn't it? It is a stinker. Um, it would be a guess. Um, and I'm torn between A and C, but I'm going to dodge it because I. I really am no, nowhere near confident enough to even guess. OK, we're going to employ a dodge on this one, please. The prize fund is halved to £34,000. Which one would you have gone for? I've just, there's something just, like, tickling the back of my brain telling me it's Florence Nightingale, but I would be nowhere near confident. I'll, I'll guess that, but... Florence Nightingale? Yes. We'd like to go I for A, Florence Nightingale, that, please. Please reveal, is A the right answer? Oh. It was. You knew it. It was there, tickling I didn't know away. It was. I should have just trusted my instinct. Give in to the tickle. I normally do. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, either way, you're still in. Yeah. The question is, did they know it? 
Please reveal how many of the remaining members of the 100 got that answer wrong. Wow. 33 got it wrong. Oh, my God. That's incredible. <laughs> Julia, your total after that dodge is £34,000. And now, more importantly, it's you versus eight. <laughs> Potentially, if you do take out this last eight, you could go home with £92,000 as it stands. Let's have a look at your next two categories. Travel or bonus dodge. You've knocked out over 75 of your opponents. This means you get your chance to earn an extra dodge. I'll take the bonus dodge. You never know when it might come in handy. You never know when it's going to come in handy. Know. OK, have a look at this picture. Let's have a look at the question. For which of these films did this Hollywood star win a Best Actress Oscar? A. Sweet Home Alabama. B. Vanity Fair. Or C. Walk the Line. Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds in counting. Recognise? Yes. The actress? Yes. Who that was, was it? Reese Witherspoon. She was Johnny Cash's wife in Walk the Line. I know she won an Oscar for that. So I'll go for C, Walk the Line, please. Julia thinks it's C, Walk the Line. Is it the right answer? OK, that's fantastic. You've got your bonus dodge. Please show us who got the answer to that question wrong. Two. They know their films. They know their films. It's £2,000. Your new total is £36,000. It's now you versus six. <laughs> Let's have a look at the next two categories, please. <laughs> films or words and language? I think I'll take a chance on words and language. Words please. and language? Yeah. OK, we're going to take a chance with words and language. How often does a biannual event occur? A, every two years. B, every other year. Or C, twice a year. Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. How often does a biannual event occur? I'm fairly sure it's every two years. Is it worth taking the risk? Or is survival? I'm more interested in survival at this point. No, I'm going to dodge it. OK, we'd like to use one of the three dodges, please. Of those three, which one would you have gone for? I'm going to say every two years. Please light up A every two years. So far, Julia has beaten 94 of her opponents. She has £18,000 in the bank. She still has six opponents remaining. Can she hold out and take home in excess of £70,000? We're going to find out after we go live to the National Lottery HQ for tonight's big lotto draw. They're all yours, Jenny. <laughs> Welcome back to Lottery HQ. Now, very shortly, we'll have tonight's big lotto draw. But first, before we came on air, the draw team, alongside an independent adjudicator, carried out tonight's daily play draw. And it's over to Alan, who has the results. God, what a cliffhanger. Today's daily play winning numbers are then 2, 3, 4, 12, 13, 21 and 
26. Jenny. Thank you very much. And remember, for all the Daily Play Draw news, results and much, much, much more, log on to the website bbc.co.uk forward slash lottery. Right then, Mr D, what time do you make it, please? Jenny, it's nearly 19 minutes to nine now. OK, then, here goes. Get ready to play Saturday's Lotto. Alan, what's the jackpot looking like this evening? How about a jackpot estimated at £4.6 million, pounds, Jenny? Oh, with that kind of money, you could have a dream holiday, sun, sea, sun, we, uh, uh, pina should colada. We, should we release those yeah, big money balls? It. Let's I'll do it. <laughs> now, thanks, Mr Veal. We'll be using Topaz instead of all seven. Now, the news from the draw team is that over 412,000 tickets won a prize on Wednesday night's draw. One very lucky ticket matched with all the balls drawn to win a staggering £12.4 million. Pounds. But as you heard earlier, that ticket is still waiting to be claimed. So keep on checking those tickets, please, Jenny. Indeed, keep on checking. All right, then, Drawmaster Martin, are we clear to proceed? Yes, we are, Jenny. Fantastic. From all of us here at Lottery HQ, we wish you the best of luck. Start that draw. Tonight's lottery update, 10.30, just before match of the day. There's the first one, 17, with us just three weekends back as well. 151st time as a main ball. And the next one is there, number two. The Blue Bell Railway in Sussex has been awarded £2.8 million pounds of lottery cash to fund a major expansion programme. Next is number 42, who also joined us the weekend before last, 186th lotto appearance. Next tonight, out comes that one, which is number 36, last with a sort of 15 Wednesdays back count of main ball for the 143rd time now. Next. Out comes that one, number 32, 165th time as main lotto ball for that one. We lost, last saw that, just the four Wednesdays back. And the sixth one, this could make you very rich, number 15. First number drawn Wednesday night, just gone, 146th time as a lotto main ball. The bonus tonight is right there, number four. So tonight's winning lotto numbers in ascending order are 2, 15, 17, 32, 36, and number 42, the bonus, number four, Jenny. Thanks, Alan. That's all for tonight. But don't forget to join the very glamorous Lisa Snowden on Wednesday for the midweek draws at 10.35 with a very special guest, the rock legend that is Meat Loaf. <laughs> and Sarah Kaywood's here on Friday after Jonathan Ross, and I'll be back here next Saturday night. Now, though, let's go back to Ben and one verse the 100. See you soon. Before the lottery, we saw Julia here knock out 94 of her opponents, and so far she has £18,000 in the bank. She has dodged this question, but she's still on course to win over £70,000. Question is, was the dodge worth it? How often does a biannual event occur, was the question. You dodged it, yeah. but you're pretty certain every it's every two years. Two years. Let's find out. Is the answer A, every two years? Oh. It was twice a year. Well played. Oh, my God. The relief. Oh. Please reveal who got that question wrong. Oh. Two. I've got it wrong. Your total, Julia, after the dodge is £18,000. It's now you versus four. <laughs> if you can eliminate those final four, you'll take home £72,000 as it stands right now. Yep. Let's get your next two categories. <laughs> Celebrities or sports? Absolute no-brainer. <laughs> There's no way I'm going anywhere near the sport question. <laughs> celebrities it is, please. <laughs> we'll take celebrities, please. Strictly Come Dancing winner Alicia Dixon was formerly a member of which girl group? A, Atomic Kitten, B, Eternal, or C, Mystique? Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. <laughs> A couple of them were shaking their heads when the question came yeah. up. Yeah. Um, you like your pop music? I do, yeah. And I'm not sure that they'll know too much about this kind of pop music. I hope, I don't know, they could surprise me. Do you know the answer? Yep. It's C, Mystique. We're going to go for C, Mystique. She is very, very certain. 
If you're wrong, you've wasted those dodges and £18,000. Let's find out. Is the answer C, Mystique? It is! <laughs> good, good answer. Did any of the remaining 100 get that question wrong? Two. That's £2,000. Your total is up to £20,000. More importantly, Julia, it's now <laughs> you versus two. <laughs> Great stuff. Just Paul and Sharon left to eliminate. Mm -hmm. Let's have your next two categories, please. Ooh. Fictional characters or science? Fictional characters, I'm not bad on, cos I read a lot. Yeah. Watch a lot of TV and films, so... Um, I think I'll give that one a go, please. We'll take fictional characters, please. <laughs> Which of these isn't one of Roger Hargreaves' Mr Men characters? A, Mr Fat. B, Mr Skinny. C, Mr Tall. Paul, Sharon. Remaining members of the 100, you have six seconds and counting. Do you remember the Mr Men books? I think there was a Mr Fat. I'm just not sure about Mr Skinny and Mr Tall. There's only two of the 100 left. If you defeat those two, you get a bonus £50,000. I'm torn between B and C. Neither of them is screaming at me. And I'm not confident enough to guess on either one of them, so I think I'll dodge this one. It pains me, but I'll, I'll dodge it. It's You're just too risky, dodge. yeah. OK, Julie would like to employ one of her remaining two dodges for this question, please. As you know, that means we halved the prize fund, which has gone down to £10,000. Potentially could take home £62,000 if you can eliminate these two. Which one of those is the most likely? Oh, I'll guess Mr Skinny. B, Mr Skinny, please. Is the answer B, Mr Skinny? Mr. Fat, well played. Oh, oh my God. Well played. I was using a Mr. Fat in my brain. I'm so glad I didn't go for that. You've lost half your money, but you're still in the game. Yeah. There's £10,000 there. Please reveal if Paul or Sharon got that answer wrong. <laughs> Paul's gone. Your total after the dodge is £10,000. Julia. It's now you versus one. Oh, God! This is it. <laughs> Sharon. Ben. <laughs> that was quite exciting. Do you know the Mr Men books? Not at all. I just thought there wouldn't be one as un-PC as Mr Fat. I just couldn't see that being one at all. So it was a pure guess. An educated guess. Sort of. Let's have two more categories, please. Cities oh. or human body? It's going to be human body, please. OK. We'll have human body question, please. The only bone in the body that is not joined to another, where is the hyoid found? A, ear. B, nose. Or C, throat. Sharon, as the only remaining member of the 100, you have six seconds to answer now. Sharon's answered. Quite confident about this one. Really? Yes. 
It's my predilection for forensic science books and murder stories and things. <laughs> Your predilection for yeah. science books and murder? I'm, I'm quite fascinated by true crime and, you know, the, particularly this, you know, how they solve and detect crimes, so, and murders particularly. <laughs> my friends think I'm really sick. <laughs> um, so I know that the hyoid's in the throat. So you think the answer is sea throat? Yes, I'm going for throat, please. You've got your dodge? No. You're not going to use your throat. dodge? There's £10,000 on the table. Throat, please. You're certain about this, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> We'd like sea throat, please. <sighs> OK, Julia, I can tell you, Sharon has got it wrong. <gasps> the 100 are gone. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> now, the situation as it stands, I'm going to give you the option to bail. This means you can walk away right now with £11,000. That's what you've got in the bank. But it does mean you won't collect the extra 50000 for beating the 100. If you choose not to bail and you've got the question right, you'll walk away with the full £61,000. If it's not the throat, if you've got the answer wrong, you're going to go home with absolutely nothing. Are you feeling brave? Yes. It's throat. You certain? Yes. For £61,000, we think it's C, the throat. Is C the right answer? £61,000. Yeah. yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> it's come at a pretty important time for you, hasn't it? Yes. When did you lose your job? Um, just over a week ago. So you were made redundant? Yeah. Out of the blue? Yeah, big shock. Absolutely no idea it was coming. So this is just um, amazing. It's just, I like to think it's fate now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Done a brilliant job. You've been a fabulous competitor. Thank you. It's been lovely to meet you. Julia, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. So Julia has enough money if she wants to buy her own comedy club. She's leaving here with a very healthy £61,000. Digital viewers, I just hope you did as well as she did. Join us next time when we'll pick a brand new one to take on the 100. Maybe someone else will go home with a fortune. Who knows? We'll see you then. Good night.